while House and Senate members have been making some progress on areas like consumer protection, the main sticking point is that complicated area of derivatives. Now, that market includes things like credit default swaps, which brought down insurance giant AIG. The market is estimated to be some $600 trillion. That is enormous, but it's a market that's not policed, that's not transparent, and it doesn't trade on an exchange, if you can believe that. Lawmakers want to change that. In the proposals that are being considered, both the House and Senate version of financial reform are looking to force derivative trading onto a clearinghouse or an exchange, much like futures and stocks already trade on. That would require Party A, who's dealing with Party B, to go through this clearinghouse. Everyone can see what's going on. Right now, the way it works, they only deal with each other in this dark area. And that's why, during the financial crisis, you had such problems and so much fear. No one could quantify the risk, the counterparty risk. Having said that, there are some major differences between the Senate and House version. And one of them is who would have to go onto the exchange, what kind of derivative. In the Senate version, they're looking to exempt specific commercial industries, things like airlines, which have to hedge fuel costs. Analysts say that that would be about 10% of overall derivative trade. In the House version, the language is much more broad and, and it would allow any company looking to hedge financial risk. Critics say, wait a minute, that will let firms like hedge funds uh, be able to skirt around. It would give them a loophole. They say that that's not good enough and that would defeat the overall purpose. If we move over here, there's another important distinction and that is in the Senate there's a provision uh, proposed by Arkansas Senator Blanche Lincoln which would require Wall Street firms to separate out their swap trading desk. Wall Street has been waging a bitter war about this, fearing that it would really crimp a lucrative part of their business. The negotiations are going to go down to the wire like the derivatives market itself. It's complicated, but it could very well change the landscape of Wall Street and, many say, be an important litmus test of whether the U.S. can get real financial reform. Maggie Lake, CNN, New York.